to the now clause by clause discussion. So, a very good change. The last year the change was brought that in the case of equity shares which are lost listed on a stock exchange, the period of holding for purpose of computing long term capital gain or short term capital gain. For long term capital gain, it should be more than 24 months. For short term capital gain, not more than 24 months in the case of equity shares which is not listed. For listed and equity oriented, it was already 12 months. For others, it was 36 months. We all know that. Now that clause has been, that proviso has been amended where it was written that in case of equity shares which are not listed on a recognized stock exchange, they have inserted one more thing, land or building. Meaning thereby, in case of land or building or both, the period of holding for telling it is a short term capital asset will be 24 months. That means if you hold that asset for more than 24 months, this is going to be a long term capital gain. For a property, it has been brought down land and building or both from 36 months to 24 months. A good move. A good move. I'm not denying that fact. A very important change has been made in section 47 clause 10 b read with of course the explanation which has been brought in section 2 clause 42 a. There used to be a judgment of Anar uh, Kali Sarabhai, Supreme Court judgment that conversion of preference share into equity share is a transfer. Provision of preference share into equity share is a transfer therefore there will be a capital gain. But now they have amended this and inserted section uh, clause 10b to section 47 saying that if there is a conversion of preference share into equity share, it will not be regarded as transfer. It will not be regarded as transfer, so therefore there will be no capital gain on the transfer of those equity, uh, those preference share. Correspondingly, section 2 clause 42a, there is a clause added, an FH added to that, Saying that for the purpose of calculating period of holding of equity shares, that converted equity shares, the period for which the preference shares were held shall also be considered for determining whether it is a short term capital gain or a long term capital gain. That period will also be considered. Similar done has been done for consolidated unit, unit into consolidated plan, the period will also be the earlier unit period that also has been done. 